Welcome back to my YouTube channel to all my OFBs. I'm here, you're here in those hand ass bitches are over here. Okay, so let's get started with this YouTube video today, honey. Okay, so you girls know and you guys know that I need my mic because I am that girl. Okay, this is my dream, honey. It's to have a mic because I am that girl, honey. Okay, so boom. So I just want to say this because a lot has happened in my life the last couple of months that I have not been on YouTube. Um, I have met um some amazing, amazing deep down to earth people okay nothing like where i came from from the slums honey okay okay because we're done with that life baby okay so boom and i want to one of those people that i have met her name is mama jenny so shout out to mama jenny mamusha nikita nikita nagusha nikita nikita nagusha nikita nikita honey okay i love my mama jenny oh my goodness you guys see my blush she is just making my blush more pure honey yes honey um and i also want to say i love my girly heather okay mama heather she's just a doll to me you know she is just here she's with her sister okay i want to shout to my grandmama chatty because mama chatty she is one of my transgender sisters and me and her relate on so many levels it is just crazy i love my mama chetty and i also want to shout out to my girl mama teresa honey mama teresa was here repping her hood with me in new orleans okay mama teresa she did my hair okay she made me look beautiful and all the volume okay and actually today we are going to be talking about new orleans and so i just really want to shout out to those girls because those girls are literally girl it's priceless okay you can't trade those girls in for anything honey okay so boom and i also do want to say this um <clears throat> oof. i really wanted to make a youtube channel i mean not a youtube channel a youtube video for so long but i just felt like the time was not right you all okay a lot has occurred in the last couple of months but that don't matter anymore because what matter is is mama always back honey okay mama always back and that's just that honey so boom okay so today we're gonna be talking about new orleans honey let me tell you something so we went to new orleans for my birthday okay the girls got their bags and baby we went to new orleans okay so boom um now last year for my birthday we went to vig the biggest vig of them all honey mama vig okay oh actually i want to say this hold on let me backtrack real quick i also want to shout out to mama my, my sister mama emmy mama emmy she straight in my hair but all of you girls know that my hair gets really 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 frizzy okay like my hair gets frizzy and it curls back up because my hair is naturally curly. I mean, this is my hair, but when I fly iron it, it gets real frizzy and it curls back up. And so, Mama Emmy actually was the one to fly iron my hair. But when we went on the trip, Mama Therese was the one that styled it and kept up with it. So I just want to give um put that out there and give my sister her coins and her props too. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Um. So fast forward. So you know, backtrack. So we went to Vegas. To Vegas last year the biggest vig of the vig honey okay um i had a ball in vegas i had a fucking ball in vegas okay one of my sugar d said you know what i want to take you on a trip where you want to go and i said i'm gonna go to vegas so i'm probably gonna be going back to vegas upcoming very soon okay um but i also want i have to make a trip back to my hometown because my best friend is having a baby which is going to be my niece poo okay so i definitely have to be there for that honey sometime this year okay mama oh is booked and busy honey okay so boom there's a lot of underground work that is being done here okay honey so boom um so anyway so let's get into this new orleans trip the reason why i brought up vegas was because um vegas is still my best place that i ever visited um so but new orleans is kind of up there but let me give you girls and guys the real spill on new orleans okay so boom let's get into it my girlies and my gays okay so boom 
So New Orleans, when we first got there, it was giving me, it was giving me obese. It was giving me touch up. It was giving me, okay, it's that girl, but we got to touch up a little bit. Okay, so boom. It was giving me very so much old vibes. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was, it was a lot that was to say about New Orleans that really wasn't so much good. It gave, it did give me free. It, it, I felt kind of like free in New Orleans though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just, everybody was just doing everything. Okay. So boom. Um, and this is not to knock anything down of New Orleans. I actually like New Orleans, but I also had to give the ups and them downs. Okay. So let's get into this. Okay, so that's how I felt when I first went into New Orleans, okay? Now, we stay at the Harris Hotel, honey, okay? We was those girls. You know, Mama O isn't going to stay in trash, boo, period. Mama O is not going to do trash shit. That's just that, honey. Um, So, we stay at the Harris Hotel, casino, at that, honey, okay? And um, it was just so beautiful when you first pulled in, honey. They had valet. They had your doorman, you know, at the door waiting for the grillies to pull up. Okay, so when we got there, everything was just like, boom. Like, it was just so gorgeous. It was lights. It was art. It was just everything you could dream of for a hotel. Like, okay, like a really nice hotel. So, we went in to our room and oh my goodness the room was amazing okay it had its own little bathroom where it was sectioned off that like as far as the toilet then it had the sink the tub and then it had its own glass shower honey i was just like yes my love yes my mama get in the kitchen and so that was my that's one of my things i always got to see what the bathroom looks like okay the view was great because we had the river view boom we even seen like people on their cruise i guess leaving or whatever some type of boat from where we were at in our um room and so the room was good the hotel was good great it was fabulous okay so boom um then we went to um we went out to eat to so many places one of the places we went out to eat was the harris restaurant which was um, in our hotel, we went to this one Italian place. I think it was called like Frankie's. Uh, it was something. It was like a um, well, my friend likes to say a hole in the wild place. But usually, the hole in the wild places usually have the best food because that place has been there for like forty to fifty years. And let me tell you something, that food was amazing. Okay, honey, we went to um that place, and we also went to um. It was another place on Bourbon Street. I don't really recall what um what the restaurant was. We went to many other different restaurants. The food was a, a plus. The food was great. Amazing. Okay. Boom. Now, one thing that I do want to say though about the Harris Hotel was it was like if you're gonna go to the Harris Hotel restaurant. I mean to say, because hotel was good. Their food, it, you, when you go there, you want to have at least $100. At least $100. Because everything on their meal was like $60, $70 a meal. And that wasn't even including the drinks or the tips. So, you really want to pick and choose your battles with that. I had no, no problem spending the money. My problem was the food didn't taste. It, the food didn't match the money, honey. That's all I got to say about that. The food was good, but I had a $20, $30 meal that achieved that. was better than that, okay? So, that's my only thing that I am going to say about the Harris. And the drinks wasn't all that great either. Um, At least at the Harris Hotel. The food was good. It wasn't like, okay, baby, I can't do this. I just had better for a cheaper price. So, that's all I'm going to say on that. So, boom. Um, And then... Uh, we went on Bourbon Street. So, let me talk about Bourbon Street, okay, honey? So, on my um, thumbnail, um, on this video, you guys will see the dude, the, the famous dude that I met from P-Valley. His name is B-L. Y'all know B-L from P-Valley, honey. Okay. So, let me tell you something about um, that night. Okay. So, boom. So, I was 
you know, drinking, drinking, being that grand. My, the music was on. Um, I, hold on. Before we get into, um, well, actually, I'm going to talk about this. And I am going to talk about Bourbon Street. My, the ups and the downs on the big bub. Okay, so boom. And so I was, you know, twerking, you know, doing my thing, throwing a cookie back. And all I hear is bust it, bust it, bust it. And I turn back around, you know, like when somebody's hopping you up, you know, cheering you on. I'm like, okay, now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just in my move, okay? And like, I'm just like, yes, yes, honey, you know, I'm still dancing. And I kept looking at him because he kept saying bust it, bust it, bust it. Now, he stopped me out. That's how you know I'm dead, bitch, okay? Now, when he was like, bust it, bust it, I turn back around again. And I'm like... <gasps> I said, I know you. I know you from somewhere. And I could not, like, think of where I knew him from. And so I was like, oh, my gosh, I know you. I know, I know, I know. I said, where are you from? I know you. I know, like, I'm walking up to him like this. Like, I know you. And so that's when I um, finally was like, oh, my gosh, you are big L, honey, from the B family, honey. So, boom. And so we took pictures, me and my friends. We took pictures. Um, and, um... That was just that. It was cute. It was a cute moment, you know. And I told Big yeah, okay, you gonna remember me because I am gonna make it big time, honey. Okay, and I am only 20. Well, at the time I was 21 going on to 2. Now I'm 22 because we that night was uh, the day before my birthday. And so anyway, so I was like, you gonna remember me. And then he was with his girlfriend. Uh, I think she was so sweet. Um, and, you know, it was just about, okay, so let me tell you, though, about Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street is fun, real fun, real lit, you know what I'm saying. But that motherfucking street smells like dangling ass cheeks, pals, okay, and fucking shit and piss, okay? Like, it was the skunk. It was smelling skunky. It was very bad. But what I will say though is the experience um definitely 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 overlooks and overrides that because honey if it wasn't for the experience it wasn't for the turn people on Bourbon Street baby that shit was that shit smell that shit would take off my makeup okay honey okay and you guys see I am baked as a cake honey okay so boom um so we went gambling, we drunk a lot, we had great breakfast. There really weren't any complaints, really, with New Orleans. It was just very so much a downgrade from Vegas. But I would have to say I give um, New Orleans a B plus or A minus because it was still fun. It was, it, it was fun. Everybody had good spirits. Um... It was fun, you know, it was very so much fun. It was. So I had to give it a B plus an A minus. Um so yes, so I definitely want to get on here and tell my girlies and my guys about my um Vegas, I mean, well, my New Orleans experience. So until next time, my obese. And remember, no matter how dim or bright your light is, make sure you make it shine, honey. Okay, until next time, I love you. I'm always...